I think the meaning of pride has changed for me after I came out because pride for me is fully embracing who you are as a person. Before I came out, I don't know if I was ever really truly proud of myself. I had a lot of moments in sports and in my personal life that uh, were triumphs, but I don't think I really got to enjoy them because I never was fully accepting of myself. And since coming out, I think I've able to just appreciate myself and love myself and embrace myself and it's, it's made everything more enjoyable. So celebrating pride means so much to me now. Your whole coming out experience is a moment where you have to embrace everything about you. It's where you kind of put everything on the line. So pride for me now is a time when you celebrate all of that. You celebrate who you are. It's fully embracing all of your interests. It's fully embracing your friends, your family. It's a moment where you can celebrate everything that you are. If I knew how accepted and and loved I was gonna feel after coming out, I certainly would have come out a lot earlier. I've never met anyone that wished they stayed in the closet longer than they did, and it's a very personal journey. I think I had to do it in my own time, and it happened when it happened, and it was the right moment for me, but I know if I had come out earlier, I would have saved myself a lot of years of heartache and anguish. The people that I've been able to meet since coming out and sharing my story are the people that make me really glad that I was able and had the strength to share who I was. I think the people who inspire me are my family. And I'm really close with my family, I'm really close with my mom. My mom inspires me because my mom was able to give me the confidence as a young kid and reminded me constantly that no matter who I was, that if I worked hard, if I treated people the way I wanted to be treated, that I would be successful. And I take those lessons with me into everything that I do. It's pretty easy to kind of feel like you're in a bubble. Um, I'm often in places that are very liberal and very open and, and loving and accepting. And sometimes you think that homophobia doesn't exist anymore. And there is same-sex marriage equality. There are, have been a lot of incredible steps forward, but there also is still a lot of um, decisiveness and separation and hate and wickedness. Even just a couple weeks ago, I was at Miami Pride and it seemed like this incredible celebration of love, and it was, but there was a gay couple that was attacked by a group of people and beaten up, and that does happen just because they were holding hands. That happens all over the US, all over the world. There are countries where homosexuality is illegal, where it can be punished by jail time, by death. It's, it's, it's something where we've come so far, but we still have a long way to go. 2018 is the year of authenticity. And to those who might not be an ally, we're really cool and you're missing out. I think my message to the LGBTQ community is to just love yourself and embrace yourself and love one another. I feel like we're such a strong community and we're so tight-knit, but at the same time we're so divided and like the L to the G to the B to the T. It's, it's, it's all these separate sort of sects and I think it's so important to support one another and to all come together and pride is an amazing opportunity to do that, but it shouldn't just last for one month, it should last all year. And for anyone that's not an ally, get with the program, babe. It's 2018, so I don't know what you are if you're not an ally or not part of the community. There's always more work to be done within the LGBTQ community. I think that those of us who feel more visible, it's our job to stand up for those who might not feel as visible. It's our job to stand up for trans men and women. It's our job to stand up for those who might feel like they aren't being heard. If you feel like you have the platform and you feel comfortable with yourself, if you feel like you have the strength to help others, do it. It's the whole point of being a human. Helping others is what life is all about. When we can raise each other up, we actually bring ourselves even higher.